Hey there, let's talk about the difference between rational numbers and irrational numbers. So rational numbers, like their name implies, are ratios of particular types of numbers. Uh, in our case, it's integers. So if a rational number is a ratio of, an int of integers, that means it could be, for example, two-thirds. Or remember, integers can be positive or negative, so it could be negative one-half. So those are examples of rational numbers. Now a curious thing about rational numbers is that their decimal representation is one of two types. It's either terminating or repeating. In the case of negative one-half, we know that that number as a decimal is negative 0 0.5, which we call a terminating decimal because it doesn't continue. And then the number that I gave before of two-thirds, that's equal to 0 0.666 repeating, so that's a repeating decimal. So it's repeating because you can choose a spot to stop and then put a bar over it saying continue that pattern and so forth. So then irrational numbers are real numbers that are not rational. So some of the classic examples that show up here are, for example, radical of numbers that aren't perfect squares. Those are irrational. They have decimal representations that never stop and never repeat, and they are not representable as ratios of integers. Other classic examples here are some of the, uh, like for example, pi. Pi is actually a transcendental number, and so its decimal representation never stops. It never has a place where it starts repeating the same pattern over and over, and it does not have an exact ratio of integers. Some people will say pi is 22 sevenths, but that's an approximation that is not exact. So why don't we flip to the next page and try out some examples. So is two thirds a rational number? The answer to this one is yes, rational. This number is rational because it is a ratio of integers. Below that, radical seven. Is radical seven rational? No, this one is irrational. This one is irrational because it is the radical of a non-perfect square. Below, 1.233333333. This one is a rational number. This one's rational because according to the pattern here, uh, or what's evidenced by at least what was given, is that it looks to be 0.123 repeating, and a repeating decimal is a rational number. Top of the next column, radical 2 over 3. So it is a ratio here, and it's a ratio of numbers, but radical 2 is not an integer. You can't take the square root of 2 nicely. So this one is irrational. This one is a not a rational number. Below, radical 16. That one is meant to be a little tricky. This one is actually rational, even though it's a radical, because the square root of 16 is actually equal to the number 4. And 4 is a ratio of integers, right? Because 4 is 4 over 1. So the whole numbers themselves, actually any integer, is also rational because you could just place it over 1 and you would see that it would could be written as a ratio of integers. And final example down here, this one is irrational. Although this has a recognizable pattern, 1.232425 and presumably will go 262728, that pattern is not repeating. It's not a repeating decimal. There's not a place where you can stop and put a line over it to say and so forth.